Dear friends, in this video I am going to show you how I made a RO water purifier for domestic use at a very low budget. RO is a reverse osmosis water purification system. I made a 6 stage water filter. It functions like a regular RO water filter which is available at the market. I will show you how a RO water filter works with the practical parts. At first, to know source water quality and purified water quality, I need a TDS meter. TDS means total dissolved solids in water. You can check your drinking water quality using a TDS meter. Normally purified packaged water TDS is 50. You can see it is a non-purified tap water TDS showing 186. Here is a chart of water TDS. So I will check with it my water purifier working or not. If you have a RO water purifier then you should check your water quality from time to time. For this you can buy the small and cheap tool or ask a technician to check water TDS. I bought all parts from Amazon. All links of parts are in this video description. At first, I will assemble the pre-filter. It will be installed between the water source and the main filter. Spoon filter or pre-filter removes big particles dissolved in water. It increases the main filter life. To make this filter, I am using a sediment filter cartridge, a pre-filter housing, a spanner for opening. This rubber comes with pre-filter housing. Those are input and output connectors. This is some Teflon tape, 1 by 4 inch RO pipe. For every joining thread, I use Teflon tape to prevent water leakage. I am installing the sediment filter in the casing. I can replace this sediment filter cartridge when it is blocked. A pipe connection is very easy on the RO system. Just insert the pipe with a little bit of pressure. Using this blue lock for protection. Every connector are used at the same process on RO. The pre-filter unit is ready. Now I am going to make the main filter. Before this, I like to show you all components which I am using. This is a basic need to make a RO shown. Every domestic RO machine must have those parts. Sediment filter, pre-carbon filter and post-carbon filter, membrane housing, RO membrane, it is a 100 GPD membrane, connectors, twenty four volt SMPS, those connectors for the pump and solenoid valve. It is a twenty four volt solenoid valve. 450 flow restrictor, Teflon tape, it is a 24 volt RO booster pump, here is the water flow direction indicator.
Here all pipes and filters are temporarily connected to show you how RO works. It is the basic setup. I am not using a floor sensor, alkaline cartridge, TDS adjuster and UV filter. At first, water comes from the main water line to spoon filter. Here is a solenoid valve or I can use this valve before the pump. So when this solenoid valve is open, that means when DC 24 volts is connected to this valve, then water comes to sediment filter. Then the water comes to a pre-carbon filter. Then the water goes to booster pump input. The pump increases the water pressure and throw it to the RO housing input. Here water separate into two parts. One is purified water which is going to post carbon filter at the last to output. Now it is drinking water. Another part of the water that cannot pass through a membrane. It is passed out through the flow restrictor. We cannot drink this water but we can use other household work to save water and energy. I used a plastic box for the pump and SMPS. Twenty four volt DC power is connected to the pump and solenoid valve. I am not using a float valve for auto cutoff, so the connection is very easy. I made a cubic structure with PVC pipe for keeping all filters and cartridges. Now it is ready. I am connected its input line to a tap water source. The RO booster pump is running. The wasted water is here. Temporarily I am collecting the purified water in this glass. Now it is time to test the TDS of water. Here are three glasses of water. First one is the source water from a borewell water source. Second is wasted water from this machine and third one is the purified water. It shows TTS 930 which is very poor quality water. It is showing 105. and purified water is 41. I think you can see the colors are also different. My homemade RO machine is working good. Thank you for watching. If you have any queries, please let me know in the comments. See you soon in the next video.